What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Botticera machine to all types of different devices. But you know me, let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. All right, now that we are over here on our Botticera machines, I am on a fresh build of Botticera. I'm actually on Botticera version 43, but don't worry about that. The first thing we need to do is head to our network settings and we need to connect our machine to the internet. Now, if you use ethernet, go ahead and plug that in. If you're gonna use Wi-Fi, go ahead and connect now. All right, once your machine is connected to the internet, you're gonna go back into the network settings menu and you're gonna go ahead and take a picture, write down, use your photographic memory. I don't give a damn how you do it. Get your IP address. There's two ways we're gonna be able to connect our machine, you know, wirelessly through our network. And one of them is gonna be with this IP address. So just go ahead and get it now. All right, now that your machine is connected to the internet and you have your IP address recorded down somewhere, however you did that, you can go ahead and press F1 to go into your file manager. And then we're gonna go up over to the left to applications. And we're gonna double click this here. Now, if you've already got the BUA installed, you can skip this step, but for anyone new, we're gonna be installing the BUA. That is the Botticera Unofficial Add-ons Installer. All right, once you're in the terminal like this, all you've gotta do is type the command that you see on the screen now. It's really that simple. Once you have the command typed in how you see it on the screen now, you can go ahead and press enter, and you can just wait for it to do its thing. Now it's installing the BUA. The BUA is an application that allows you to add unofficial add-ons to your Botticera machine. Once the BUA has finished installing, you can go ahead and type exit and press enter. And that'll get you out of the terminal. If you did it correctly and it installed properly, you should have this fancy pantsy Botticera unofficial add-ons application here that we can actually go ahead and double click now. You should see a loading screen like this and that's when you know that you have made it. All right, so now that you are in the brand new BUA, super fancy interface, all you've got to do is scroll down to System Utilities. In here, we're going to add a browser. So you can either get Chrome here, you can get Brave. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get Firefox. This is just step number one on our journey to getting Moonlight and Sunshine fully working, easy as possible, directly from your Botticera machine. Now you can also do this from a separate web browser, but we're just, we're not even going to worry about that. We're just going to do it right from the machine. Now that we've got Firefox installed, back on the main BUA menu, we're going to go to Game Utilities. In here, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for Moonlight and Sunshine. Now, here's Moonlight here. I'll go ahead and select it. Moonlight is the application that you're gonna have on your phone, on your tablet, on your separate computer, so that you can stream your Botticera machine. That's the, that's the easiest way I can explain it. So for example, if you wanna play your Botticera machine on your Android or iPhone, you would download Moonlight onto that device. And then in the coming steps, I'll show you what to do from there. On the server, quote unquote device, we're gonna be installing Sunshine. Sunshine is actually what's gonna stream the gameplay. So Sunshine goes on the Botticera machine and Moonlight goes on your secondary machine, the one you want to use to access your Botticera machine. I hope I made that easy enough because it, it's not complicated, but I probably made it complicated. <laughs> Anyways, once you have Moonlight and Sunshine selected, even though you don't really need Moonlight unless you have a stronger PC that you plan on streaming to Botticera. So it works both ways. If you wanna play your Botticera machine on your phone or a cheaper laptop, you can do that. Or if you wanna play your hardcore gaming PC on your Botticera machine, you can also do that. But anyways, once you have those two in your queue, we're gonna go ahead and install them now. You may get this pop up, you can close that out. The first thing we're gonna do now that we've got Sunshine installed on our Botticera machine is we're going to close out of the file manager and we're gonna give this bad boy a restart. So go down to quit and restart system. Now that we have restarted our Botticera machines, we're gonna go over to ports and we're gonna open whatever web browser we installed. I installed Firefox, so that's what I'm using. If you installed Google or whatever, you go ahead and open that. You saw that Moonlight application there, or maybe you did, maybe you didn't. You won't see an application for Sunshine because we're gonna be accessing that through the web browser now. 
we're going to go up and type the following. Now, depending on your network situation, you may have some stuff blocked. I'm not a network guru, so I don't know all the ins and out of the networking. So if you, this doesn't work for you, you may have VPN, some type of DNS, something may be blocking even on your router provided from your internet service provider. Something may be blocking you. So I can't say it's going to work for every single person, but this is the method to use sunshine and moonlight, even if you're using it on different com computers, even if you're not using Botticera. So we're just following simple steps that work for, you know, most electronics when it comes to moonlight and sunshine. So again, you're going to type in what you see on the screen. Now you see it on the screen now, and then you can press enter. If that doesn't work, you can replace where I have local host, you can replace it with the IP address that I told you to get earlier. But anyways, once we're on this screen, you may think, oh no, I'm screwed. No, it, don't click the big blue button. <laughs> I bet you some people had some problems with that too. You wanna click on advanced. You wanna click accept the risk. And boom, now we are on our Sunshine server. So you can create a username. I'm gonna leave it as Sunshine. I'm gonna create my password now something super short and sweet. I'm going to confirm that password. I'm going to save it because in one second it's going to ask me for the information again. So, and of course it's not popping up with my saved info. Ah, so if you're like me and you left the username as sunshine, go ahead and type that in. And the password is whatever you just made it. And once you have the username and password in, go ahead and press enter. And boom, I'm gonna click save again. Hopefully that'll work for my next time I open this up. Now we have our Sunshine server open. In here, up here at the very top where you see pin, this is gonna be basically the only thing that you need to mess with. Now there are some settings and configurations you can go in and mess with. We're not getting in that today. This is just how to get the machines connected and work. <laughs> You'll have to go do some more digging if you wanna get deeper into Sunshine. But in the pin pairing process here in a second, I'm going to show you multiple devices where I go through the process of pairing the pin. So when you download Moonlight on your separate device, it's going to give you a pin. And, and I'm sure you can guess where that goes. That goes in here on your Sunshine server. Once the two are connected, then you can connect. But I can stop yapping and give me just a second and I'll show you it running on multiple devices. So the first device that I'm gonna use is the ROG Xbox Ally X device. Holy cow, I can't believe I had the fortune of using this device. This device runs off of Windows, so it's just like, look what I've typed in. Look what I've just typed in. I've typed in moonshine. I'm trying to do too many things at once. <laughs> I didn't type in moonlight and I didn't type in sunshine. I typed in moonshine. <laughs> so if you're trying to connect your Botticera machine to another Windows PC, laptop, etc., then this will help you out. Boom. You see here, we'll search for moonlight and sunshine. We'll click this top link here. Look at all the options you have. iOS, Android, Chrome OS, Xbox, I didn't even know that. PS Vita Homebrew, are you kidding me? Switch, I've gotta try that on the Switch. And on TVs? Okay, 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 anyways. We're going here. Now we are on the Moonlight GitHub. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom, get out of here. And because I am on Windows, I am looking for, let's actually use the portable one here. And then we can just download that in the downloads. Sorry if this is not the cleanest result. I really want to show you all the start to finish on an actual device. So I'm going to extract this. Trying to record and do this at the same time is crazy. I don't know how creators do this. Here we are in the Moonlight application. Where's the EXE? There's the EXE. Let's launch that up. There we go. When this pops up on your machine, make sure you click allow. It needs to be able to access the network to be able to stream the stream the staff we can go in if it doesn't find it automatically we can go in here and this is where we enter the ip address that i told you to get earlier and i don't have it so i've got to go get it okay <laughs> i can go ahead and type my ip address in here 
over on my Botticera machine, on my Sunshine server, on the web browser, really. <laughs> We're gonna go to pin in the top left corner. Now I've got my IP address in here. I'll go ahead and tap OK. You see it's found it immediately. We'll click Botticera. It's giving me a pin. I'm gonna go ahead and type that in now on my Botticera machine. I'm gonna give it a name. We'll call it ROG Ally X. And we'll click send. All right. And as you can see, now I've got the unlock after I've added in my pin. I can go ahead and tap it. There's two desktops. We'll just click the first one, because why not? We'll wait for it to load. Load. Boom. And as you can see, I'm on Botticera. Now over on my Botticera machine, I will go ahead and close out of the web browser. And that's Botticera there. So, oh, we've got a, it didn't even detects the gamepad. Let's go ahead and get our, all of our buttons added in. Cool, 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 cool. Now, as you can see, I'm fully able to control my Botticera machine right from here. And I don't think there's any games on here besides whatever it came with, but let's see. Fix it, Felix Jr. You see it there. <laughs> you see it working, damn it. Do I need to type something? Oh, I do. Okay, buttons need to be pressed. I don't want to wait. Let me play. As you can see, there is Botticera running right from here. And I can use my shortcuts to, boom, get out of the game. And I'm in here. I can control my Botticera machine right from this device. Now, we'll go ahead and move on to an iPhone. And then we'll do an Android. And then we'll get out of here. I just want to show you how easy it is to pair different devices and the process that it takes to do that. So let's go ahead and move on from this device now. Now I'm over here on my iPhone. I'm going to show you how to do it on iPhone. Then I'll show you how to do it on Android. We're going to go to the App Store. We're going to search for Moonlight. We're going to download this top option here. So for any device you want to connect, basically all you do is download Moonlight on the device. Make sure you click allow if you see this pop up. I, I said the same thing with Windows. Allow. You see, Botticera has already come up there. I don't even have to add it manually. So we're going to go ahead and click that. All right, boom, it's giving me a pin. I'm typing that in. This is a really much more raw video than usual. So hopefully you guys like that. Boom, and I'm already in there. Look at that, back in bodice air, just like that. And as you can see, oh dang it, I did not mean to do that. But that's okay, you see it working. <laughs> there you go. Joysticks, oh yeah, sweet. There's iPhone out of the way. So we'll go ahead and move on to Android and then we'll get the heck out of here. <laughs> so here we are here over on my Android, back over on bodice air. I'm going to one more time, go back into ports, and open up the web browser. Let me go back into my Sunshine web interface so that I can add the pin one more time. Now, if you've been watching along this far, I'm sure you can guess what we're gonna do next. We're gonna install Moonlight. I'm on the Play Store on iPhone. I was on the App Store. Oh, it's I've already got it installed on here. <laughs> uh, back on my Botticera machine, I'm opening up my Sunshine interface for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth time in the video. It's giving me a pin. Boom, Bob's my uncle. And yet another, ooh, this looks even nicer on here. It looks even nicer on the Android. And you also have the option to remove these buttons as well. Look at that. All right, let's leave those alone. Let's leave those alone. And you have the option to completely remove the buttons. We're not gonna do that right now. Oh, you see that? Make sure you have a good internet connection. If you don't, your shit's gonna be ass. I don't know why this one's decided. Oh, and an error on screen i'm leaving that in here this is the truth this is this is how stuff like this goes you know especially with weak ass wi-fi like mine oh come on let me get back in here one more time so we can finish the video okay 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 we did it we did it as you can see it's working it ain't working well on this phone i don't know what's going on with that well that's enough of that <laughs>
<laughs> That's going to wrap up today's video. If you liked what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe. Come on. Let me know in the comments below. Is this something that you've already been doing? Is this something you wanted to try? Or is it something that's blowing your mind that you didn't even know that you can do? But all right. All right. I'll catch you in the next video. Wait. I've got a shout out all of my YouTube members. This is something I've been doing at the end of my recent videos. I want to acknowledge the people who helped me out. So shout out to Steve, good old Steve. Shout out to IJ, shout out to Foosh, shout out to I and Ludi, and shout out to RC from YNC. Thank you all so very much for helping me do my thing. And if you're hearing this and you're not a YouTube member, this is not a call to do that. Don't worry. You, you don't have to be a member. All these people did that on their own. I'm not asking you for anything except for that like and subscribe. All right, get the hell out of here. Get, get the hell out of here.